Hi, it's Donna Marie here. In this video tutorial, I'd like to show you a really cool trick that could save you hours and hours of pulling out your hair in frustration if you're one of these people who likes to use Camtasia Studio to edit and produce recordings from GoToWebinar or GoToMeetings. Now, the first thing to keep in mind is that when you've got your webinar or your, your GoToMeeting session going, you need to record that not in the GoToWebinar or GoToMeeting format. Okay, make sure you change the settings to record in WMV format. That's really important. You must do that before you start recording. Otherwise, there's no way you're going to be able to, to edit that in the way that we're going to show. Um, so, okay, assuming you've done that, you've recorded your session in the WMV format, what a lot of people are finding is that they then try to import that into Camtasia Studio, edit it and produce it and then upload it to the internet or to wherever they want to, to upload it or send it to. The problem is that Camtasia has trouble rendering that project. So you can edit it, but when you go to produce it and it goes through the rendering process, it'll get stuck somewhere part way through and it just can't complete the process. Now this happened to me and I contacted both Camtasia Studios um, or their manufacturers, TechSmith, and I also contacted GoToMeeting and neither of them could help me. They both told me that um, it wasn't possible for the two to work together and explained that the problem is that the WMV format, it isn't a true WMV format in that it doesn't actually put the timestamps throughout the, the production. Without those timestamps, Camtasia can't read the file properly, it can't render it properly. So, not satisfied with that, I went searching for a way to get around that to see if there was any way that we could add those timestamps or convert the video in some way that Camtasia could then use it. And I found a way. Now, I'm not a real techie person. So I don't really understand how this works. I just know that it works and that's all I need to know. I don't know that it's going to work for everyone, but hey, if you want to give it a go, it's worth trying. If it doesn't work, maybe there's another way, but at least give this method a try. Now, the first thing that you need to do is use a file that may already be on your computer and if not, I'll show you where you can get it for free. Now, if you go to your Start menu and in Search, type for Windows Media Stream, and it's the Windows Media Stream Editor that you want. Now, mine's come up because I do have that on my computer, and you'll see the Window Media Stream Editor has opened up. Now if you don't have this on your computer, you can download it for free from Microsoft.com and it's actually part of a file called the Windows Media Encoder. So Windows Media Encoder, go to Microsoft.com, download that file. There's a couple of different versions there depending on what sort of computer you've got, whether you're running Windows XP or Vista or 7. If you're on a Mac, I'm really sorry, I don't know much about Macs, but for Windows users, give this a shot. So you download that file, install it, and then go to search and search for Windows Media Stream Editor. When you do that, this little box will open up. And in this section here where it says Select Source Audience, click on Add Source and find the file that you want to convert. Now, this file that you're uploading is the recording that you got from GoToMeeting or GoToWebinar. So this is your WMV version of that recording. Okay, now you tick this little box next to um, the file name, click on Add, and you'll see it's put Audience to MBPS in the Setup Output Audiences box, and then click on Create File. Now it's going to ask you where to save it, so I'm just going to give this a name. and save and then you click on start. 
Now depending on the size of the file this could take a little while. If it's um, like an hour long recording or something like that it might take two or three minutes, maybe even five minutes. Depends on, on the speed of your computer as well. So I'm just going to pause this for a moment and um, we'll be back in two minutes to finish this process. Okay, so now we've just left that for about two or three minutes. The file has converted and all you do now is close your Windows Media Stream Editor and then open Camtasia and import the, the video just as you normally would. This time we're importing the changed video, the one that we just saved. So what did I call that? That was this one here. And then just go ahead and edit that as you normally would and that should render for you okay. Like I said, no guarantees, no promises. It works for me. Hopefully it'll work for you too. Bye for now.